obviously trying to work my way back to the top and uh, that's all I want to do. At the moment, Dominic Team is one of the most talked about professional tennis players. Previously, the 29-year-old Austrian ranked as high as the world's number three in singles. As a player, Team has earned the attention of tennis lovers for his action on the court. Of all the things that have contributed to his success, his physical effort cannot be overlooked. Team plays with so much physical energy and you simply cannot help but give him your utmost attention. To his credit, he has bagged 17 ATP singles titles, one of which is the Grand Slam title at the 2020 US Open. With this achievement, he became the first Austrian and the first male player born in the 1990s to claim a major singles title and the US Open singles title respectively. After winning his first Grand Slam title, many thought it would unleash the beast in him like Stan Wawrinka, but that has not been the case. Recently, the former top 10 ranker has been experiencing a serious downtime in his career, which can be likened to a midlife crisis. This is why we will be talking a look at what has happened with this energetic baseliner. Let's dig it up together. I almost couldn't believe myself that I was almost on the top once. Let's start from where it all began, the calm before the storm. The year 2020 favored Team to a large extent, and it can even be termed his breakthrough year. How else can you qualify a year that won him one of the biggest titles of his career? Though the tennis season, like everything else in 2020, was highly constrained because of the pandemic, the pandemic could not stop Dominic Team. Instead, he was on a roll. Team is considered one of the fittest players on tour, and so, while some stayed away as a result of the pandemic, he went back to back on his games. Among the games, Team won some and lost some, beginning with the ATP in August cup where Austria was defeated in the group stage. However, he did not relent, because after that he played a couple of important matches, defeating some of the big guns. On the 2nd of March, he rose up the ranks ahead of Federer to become the world's number 3 in the ATP rankings and everything was looking good for him. I mean, the moment was elating. It's always a big honor to, to play against such a legend like this, always a big honor of course to beat him as well. Team clinched the place of the second seed in the men's singles draw at the 2020 US Open and planed his way up to the round of 16, defeating Felix Olga Alessem in straight sets. After making it through the quarter and semi-finals respectively, he played against Alexander Zverev and defeated him in the finals to bag the title of the Grand Slam champion. This win came with many records for him as it was not only his first major title, but the win that crowned him the first male tennis player born in the 1990s to win a major title. Dominic Team rounded off the year on a good note, having recorded his 300th match win and his fifth against a player ranked the world's number one at the 2020 ATP Finals. He was equally declared the Tennis MVP of the Year by Sports Illustrated and he won the Austrian Sportsman of the Year award. Imagine the shock and unpleasantness that Team and his team must have felt after realizing that the star's 2020 lucky charm did not follow him into 2021. After all the cheers and accolades in the previous year, the Austrian star started the new year with a defeat at the ATP group stage. Team and his team were optimistic that they could bounce back because the year was still new, but how wrong were they? Previously, there had been rumors of a stubborn and foot injury which was officially undisclosed, but during matches it began to seem obvious to everyone, which deterred Dominic Team from dominating many matches. His foot injury denied him the opportunity to face off against Andrei Rublev and even participate in the Paris Masters ATP 1000 event of the season. Team took a break to recharge following a spiral of losses and a knee injury. During that period, he tried his hardest to garner his previous speed and agility, and when he returned for the Madrid Open, he was only able to reach the semi-finals before losing to an Another player. In May 2021, he lost his ATP Lyon opening match to Cameron, which further fueled the losing streak. Later on, he lost to Pablo Andujar at the French Open in five sets. Team, however, was still trying to process his situation and remaining optimistic about a change, but he had to excuse himself from the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 due to his struggling form. Unfortunately, in the middle of the Mallorca Championships, while Team was leading 5 2 to Adrian Manmarino, he suffered a right wrist injury. On the court, Team looked looked visibly pained as he flexed his wrist over and over again and eventually retired from the match. The wrist injury made him lose out on a whole year from the court. Team immediately started his recovery process with training and therapy. 
of all sorts to repair the damage to his wrist, from using liquid wax to enhance warmth, electric impulses to improve circulation, and consuming nutrients for mobility. Team reported that it was super stiff, the right hand and wrist, and his therapy equally echoed his claims at how uncooperative the injury had been. Because uh, obviously before this wrist injury, I almost never had any issues with my body, so I could do whatever I wanted. After a series of hardcore training and treatments, the tennis world was happy to receive Dominic Team again, but nothing remained the same on his arrival. Team returned to the court in March 22 after postponing several matches before then due to a new development with his wrist injury. For the first time, Team was again on the court with his racket, and as expected, though nobody held a grudge against him on that he lost the match to his opponent. Later, Team got sick, which caused him to drop out from paying for a while. After his recovery, he was unable to defend his points from 2021 due to his first round loss to Andy Murray. For this reason, he fell out of the top 150 rankings and proceeded to lose out on the top 300 due to continuous loss. At this point, Dominic Team is now ranked 310 in the ATP rankings. However, after 14 long months of winning nothing, Team recorded his first win against Philippe Misoli and recorded his first ATP win just a week later. Subsequently, he participated in more tournaments and openings, but with fewer successes recorded. Team has equally had to withdraw from some games within the season because of illness. At the end of the 2022 season, Dominic was able to recover his place as Austria's number one and even return to the top 100 in the ATP ranking. Some have judged Dominic Team's 2023 to be a bit encouraging, while the likes of Joff Chisova think that his 2023 started worse. Without reservations, Jeff Chisover declares in a tennis-centered podcast that Dominic Team will never make it back to the top 10 of the ATP rankings. The commentator went on to say that he will attribute Team's recent performance to how hard the game of tennis can be. Earlier in the year, Dominic Team announced his interest to play in an exhibition contest in Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Some people have aired their opinion against this move. Nowadays, everybody has something to say about what Dominic Team is up to, but in his own words, he says, I'm calm. It will take time, but I'll be back. Team has experienced several losses this year, but the year is not over yet and he believes he can bounce back. Team has played 51 matches as of February 2023 after his return from his injury period. He has won 24 of those matches and lost 27. Uh, yeah, for sure I'm not at my best again or for sure I'm not yet at my level again. Dominic Team expels quite a lot of energy in the game, which is visible in the strength he puts into every ball to make it land as a perfect topspin aimed at making significant damage. The most exciting fact for his fans is how his physical effort does not revolve around his upper body alone, but extends to even his footwork during games. He can adapt his style to different gaming conditions. Team may not be in top form at the moment, but everyone will agree that he has an outstanding playing style and even performs rare moves. It is said that he possesses one of the heaviest strokes on the tour and can use his forehand and single-handed backhand. He is one of the younger 80 players that can use the single-handed backhand. Team is known as the primarily aggressive baseliner and has improved his use of the sliced backhand over time, especially with the addition of a new coach to his team a few years ago. With his amazing playing style, Dominic Team may not need to fret over his failures, but keep at consistent practice and just maybe we will see him at the top again.